I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. I'm gonna give you a challenge for 14 days. And if you can do this, okay, we can take a break on Saturday. We can take a break on the weekend to enjoy our weekends because we don't wanna adopt extreme measures to lose weight or to fix our health. Whether you have cancer, whether you have diabetes, Alzheimer's, you're losing your hair, you have acne in your face, you have erectile dysfunction, you have reproductive issues, you have <clears throat> weight gain problems, you have stubborn belly fat, whatever it is, whatever it is that you have, if you can do the next 14 days, let's start on Sunday night and do it for 14 days. If you can do it, I can guarantee you, I'm not gonna guarantee your disease is gonna go or you're gonna reach your, reach your weight loss target, but I can guarantee you that you started the process. I can guarantee you that you're gonna feel better. I can guarantee all the diabetics who do it will see a change in their blood sugar levels. I can guarantee everyone with high blood pressure will see a significant decrease in their blood pressure as well. Okay, I don't have a magic plan for you. I don't have a magic diet or a magic medicine. All we're gonna to try to do is align with the laws of nature, okay? No one can ever heal, no one can ever achieve body goals or health goals if we are away from natural. When we are aligned with nature and natural, everything in our body that we're trying to make work automatically works. As we move away from natural, that's called unnatural, we create imbalances in our rhythm, our hormones, and everything else. This is the fundamental law of your health. This is the fundamental law of nature. A lot of you would have read the circadian rhythm by now. Shout out to my team to post the link so if you haven't, you can uh, download that free book and read it. I'm giving you steps to do, write them down, okay? Try. A lot of you right now have already planned to fail by saying you can't do X, Y, Z. Then you failed already, don't even try. My point is, how much can you do? Can you get 10 out of 14 days right? Can you get eight out of 14 days right? Can you even get seven out of 14 days right? That is progress. Can you even get one day out of 14 days right? That means you tried and that's progress. That's all we need, discipline, consistency, and a strong mind. Nothing else can help you achieve your goals. So I'm listening at the points, you may wanna make a note of it and I'm sure someone will also uh, collate my points and put it in the thread. Uh, for everyone who's already done the circadian rhythm, I mean, you have hundreds and thousands of people out there who have changed their lives doing this. What I'm about to tell you doesn't cost you money, okay? So stop complaining and whining about everything that costs you money and start doing things which are free in order to get your results. Okay, number one, no matter what your life is right now for the next 14 days, excluding your weekend, try to have your dinner within one hour of sunset. So the sunset's at six, between six and seven, your dinner is done. Okay, have a proper, normal dinner. Don't try to go low carb, no carb, all of that crap. We're not dieting over here, we're creating a lifestyle and I'm trying to show you how, by you living within the laws of nature and circadian rhythm, you are going to get better, period. And if you don't get better, it's because you didn't do it the right way. So period, let's be honest about what we do and how much of effort we also put in trying to achieve the goals that we wanna achieve. So first rule, your dinner. Now, yeah, as I say this, a lot of you already have excuses. I work there. I, I can't help you with your excuses. I can give you a plan. It's your way to figure it out. Do it, don't do it, it's up to you. Where there's a will, there's a way. The most successful, successful people do not not have obstacles in their life. They learn to overcome obstacles, go around obstacles, through obstacles, under obstacles, or face the obstacles. They make it work. So don't be the other person. Wherever there's a little obstacle in your life, you start complaining and whining and you can't do it and all of that stuff. That means you're planning to fail. You've already failed. Okay? So hear me out. Dinner within one hour of sunset. So if sunset's at six o'clock, you finish your dinner at seven o'clock. You do not eat until sunrise or a little bit after sunrise the next day. Let's say sunrise is at eight o'clock and you wanna eat at 8.30, but you're not hungry, don't eat. Let's say you're not hungry by 9.30, don't eat. Let's say you're hungry at 9.45, eat. As simple as that. You would have already finished 12 hours of beautiful fasting within the circadian rhythm, which is far more powerful than people doing 16 and 18 hours the wrong way. Starting it at one in the morning, starting it at 12 at midnight, one day the next day, starting it at eight in the evening, no. They've confused the circadian rhythm and it's the wrong way of fasting. But less is more in life. When you do things the right way, less is more. So 12 hours would be beautiful if you can go up to 13, 14, 15. That's your call. It's not a competition. It's not a game. Do 12, 13, 14 according to your body. It doesn't have to stay the same. Today I fast for 14 hours. Tomorrow my body breaks the fast in 12 hours. Day after I may fast for 16 hours. Listen to your body. Your body is telling you how much you should fast. Not social media, not doctors, not nutritionists, not anyone. 
No one knows better than your body. So listen to your body. Rule number one. Rule number two. Again, as I say this, a hundred thousand excuses will pop up in your mind. Deal with them. Okay, that's your job. Deal with the excuses and the little obstacles that come up in your life. These are the littlest of obstacles. Okay, as I speak to you, we've already seen three kids with brain cancer, two 19-year-old boys with a cancer that they'll never survive from. That is real suffering. Your little problems are your problems that you feed so much of attention with. They grow into big problems and useless problems that serve you no good. The second rule is put your phones off one hour before bedtime. Okay, use your phones as much as you want during the day. But one hour before bedtime, put your phone off. Okay, if you don't know what to do in that one hour without your phone, your life is highly miserable and shallow. I don't say this in a disrespectful way. I mean, if you can't, if you need a phone to fulfill every hour of your life, you have bigger problems than your weight. You have bigger problems than your conditions. You have an emotional issue, which is a very deep void that you should fill. It's not a bad thing. A lot of people have it as long as you accept it and you learn to fill it, okay? Fill up that one hour when your phones are off with reading a book, talking to your partners, writing, journaling, praying, whatever it is. Or if there's nothing to do, be okay with nothing to do. Be okay with nothing to do. It's as simple as that. Your bedtime will be anywhere between 9.30 and 10.30 for the next 14 days. Between 9.30 and 10.30. Whatever excuses come up, your problem. Deal with it, okay? We try to wake up before sunrise. The beauty is if you get into bed between 9.30 and 10.30, most of you will find that you will wake up automatically before sunrise or with sunrise. Now do that. Get that up. Get up in the morning. The first thing I want you to do, of course, finish with your bathroom or whatever, but open your window and connect with the sky. Look out at the color of the sky, the trees. I want you to collect, connect with natural light. As the sun rises, if you can get a sunrise, great, or even look at the sun for two to three minutes, but I want you to connect with natural light so that you reset your circadian rhythm in the next 12 hours, which makes it easier for you to sleep again at 9.30 or 10, between 9.30 and 10.30 the following evening, okay? Phones off for the first two hours when you wake up, all right? Do not put your phones off. Go past your motion, say your prayers, meditate, yoga, plan your day. You'll have enough of stuff to do within two hours. Then start your day, put your phone on and get into your day, okay? The last rule is eat your meals at the same time every single day. So if lunch is at one o'clock, eat your lunch at one o'clock. If breakfast is at 11 o'clock, eat your breakfast at 11 o'clock. Dinner, we already know what time we're going to do. By just doing these little things, which by now you would have figured out doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you anything in terms of your money, okay? Which is my biggest problem because when people have free, it's never valued. It's never ever used. That's my biggest problem with free. People take it for granted. People never use it until they're forced to use it, okay? So it's extremely important that you do these things. Now do your best. If you fail, get back on track the next day. If you fail again, get back on track the next day. So if you have to, call, uh, if you have to cancel your Tuesday socializing plan, cancel it. You can achieve nothing in life without sacrifice. If you need to cancel your Thursday socializing plan, cancel it, okay? You can socialize the next week or the following week after you've realized how the circadian rhythm will positively impact every aspect of your life, including depression and cognitive disorders. Now, is Luke right? I don't know. You don't know until you try. So try it like hundreds of other thousands of people who have tried it and have had the most phenomenal changes in their health parameters and in their weight, go ahead and try it. Instead of being the person who gives so much of time in social media, only consuming more and more content, but never putting it into action. That's a waste of your time, okay? So it's as simple as that challenge. You can start it on Sunday evening, take a break on maybe Friday or Saturday, enjoy your weekend. We don't want extremes. We want a balance in life. The idea of doing this exercise is to realize how the way you feel changes in terms of your body, your emotions, your health parameters, and everyone. If you're a BP patient, check your BP before and after. If you're a patient of diabetes, check your blood sugar levels before and after, and I will guarantee you that there will be a significant positive change by the time you have done 14 days on this simple, natural way of living. Have a great weekend, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.